What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If you've been here before, thanks for tuning in to yet another video and if you're new here, please go down there and hit subscribe and while you're down there, hit the little bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. So I painted my trailer a while back and I have these new bars that I had to put on here because the ones I had on previously were too thin and they started to bow out. So I got these new bars, but I have to paint them and I want to paint them the exact same color that I did this. So the issue I'm having is that I painted the trailer with this paint, this Rust-Oleum Farm paint. So I need to paint these with this same paint so that they can be a perfect match. The only thing is I think it would be kind of like an overkill to have to set up my gun again and get the compressor rolling and do all the stuff you have to do to paint when I wish I could, you know, just get it in a spray can, a rattle can and just get it over with. So I did some digging and I stumbled upon this guy. So this is a U-can, it's a reusable, it says rechargeable, I don't know why it says rechargeable, but uh, spray can, basically you can fill it up with whatever you want and then just put some air in it and you basically got uh, rattle can of anything that you want in the back here it says it does paints dyes inks adhesives water and more so we're gonna put it to the test today we're gonna do paint and see if it does work as works as it says it should the reviews on it is are pretty good so I'm I have high hopes for it worst comes to worst I'll just take the paint off of it and have to you know redo it with my actual spray gun but I'm hoping this works because this will make a lot of jobs a lot easier. This thing is pretty cheap too, so I'll have a link to one of these in the description if you guys want to get one. So I'm going to get the paint ready and then we'll start filling this thing up. And then once we fill it up with liquid, we'll put some air in it and then we'll test it out. All right, guys. So it's been about three days since I filmed the beginning of this video. Um, we actually got, we didn't even get snow. We got ice for like two days straight. So the roads were actually pretty bad this time. It wasn't snow, like it was legit ice. So the weather outside was kind of ugly. And in order to do this, I have to pull this car outside and I didn't want to with the ugly weather conditions, but it's clear today. So we're gonna be pulling this thing out. I have it on the charger because it never starts because I never drive it. But while I was waiting, I, well, the reason why we didn't do it that day, I didn't have any mixing sticks or whatever these things are called. So I got these on order, but I also stumbled upon this guy. This is the Prevail Amazing Spray System. So this is like another like fillable spray anything type of deal. So I guess instead of this video being like testing the UCAN out, it's gonna be kind of like a comparison. So basically this one's like $20 I believe, and it's reusable as many times as you want. This one costs about 11 bucks for the two piece. So. It's cheaper, but you have to get a new one every single time. So we're gonna see if it's worth it. The cool thing about this this one is that you don't have to pump it up with air. It's already like you literally pour the liquid in, get spraying, and then this one, you have to pump it up with air. So it has its pros and cons to both. We're gonna test both out because we do have two bars to spray. So I'm gonna get this car out of here. We're gonna hang the bars up. I have some hooks on the ceiling and we're just gonna hang them from that. That way we can get the whole surface. Well, I, th I think I have to clean them with a wire brush, then I'll hit it with primer and then we'll put paint in both of the systems, fill the U-can up with air and then we'll use one system to spray one piece and then the other system to spray the other piece and then we'll leave it drying overnight and then I guess we will compare them once we're done. All right, so I have the heater going. 
obviously it's not going right now because you guys wouldn't be able to hear me but i wanted to get the garage kind of warmed up i put these uh, chains on the ceiling i have these because i've been meaning to put some shop lights in here that i haven't gotten around to yet but i test fitted one and it looks like it is going to hold so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to pass the wire wheel on these bars because they got a little rusty from being outside and precipitation getting on them so we're going to clean them up real quick then we'll start spraying some primer on them and then we'll get mixing the paint so i'm going to be extra precautious i'm going to use a filter to put the paint and thinner into this mixing cup mix it all up and then i'm going to use another filter for each of the systems that way i know everything is clean because i don't want to ruin any of i don't know exactly how these work i don't know how thin or thick it has to be or anything like that so i'm just gonna make sure it's super clean that way i have zero issues all right guys so as you can see i have them hanging now they're nice and clean if you guys don't have a die grinder a milwaukee battery powered die grinder in your garage i highly suggest you getting one i got one just because i looked at it and i was like oh, i could see me using it in the garage but i literally use this thing for everything so it's pretty cool um if you guys want to get one i got mine on amazon i'll post a link to that in the description along with all these other things but yeah just if you guys think you might need it in the garage trust me you'll be using it all the time so we're gonna go ahead and spray these things i have some random cans of primer here in the garage um, they're almost out so i'm gonna use both of them hopefully i use all of it on both and then i can just throw them away because right now they're just basically taking up space so let's go ahead and spray these things down with primer um, i think i'm gonna do two coats of primer and then either two or three coats of paint so we're going to do primer on it first, let it dry, and then we will get spraying. All right, guys, so these things are pretty much dry and ready to be sprayed. I got the two systems right here unboxed. So this you can it literally just brings this cap and then the only extra part is this that you need so you take this spray head off and then you put this in here and that's how you fill it up with air so it brings this on the side so can't lose that and then this is i mean if you want to store it like that then you can but you don't necessarily need it this the only extra thing that it brought was a cap for the let me show you guys so all it brings is a cap for the little glass jar down here in case you want to just keep that or they say you can just cap it off and shake it to mix everything so i won't be using this so i'll put it right back in the box the cool thing about this one is that they say you can use these things so let's go ahead and see so basically right there and then boom boom so it's cool that you can use it like this. I don't know if I'll use it like that yet, but it's cool that you have the option to. This one, you can't really fit it over it, but I mean, it still has the same spray head, so we're good to go. So right now, let's go inside, let's mix some paint, and then let's throw it in these things. I actually don't know where my bike pump is right now, so we're gonna have to bust out the compressor for this anyways, which was kind of like defeating the purpose, but if you have a bike pump, that's all you need. So we're gonna use the compressor for today's video, but just know that you can fill these up with a bike pump. All right, so got our paint here, got our thinner here, got our filters here, mixing cup, mixing stick. So we are good to go. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and pour some paint in here and then we'll thin it out. And then we should be able to start filling these up. So these, all you have to do is just undo this so you undo that and then this top part comes off and then you can start filling this one and then this one you literally just unscrew it right here so it falls and bam so both the containers are ready to be filled so let's get doing this paint I'm 
not to make a mess. So, yeah, seriously. Right there, just filtering the paint. You can see it's going through right there. So we let it do its thing, and then we'll add some thinner, mix it up, we'll be ready to put it in here. All right, so it is done. Basically, it's all through the filter. There's some clumps there, so that's good that it didn't go through. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this away. And try to not make a mess. I think I did good, right? So. Yeah. Basically, I realized that I'm not gonna be able to use these filters on these because the holes are all the way up here. So we can't filter that really, but I'm gonna say F it and I'm gonna put the filter on for the thinner as well. That's as good as I can filter this thing, so might as well do as much as I can. So let's go ahead and throw some thinner in here, although I highly doubt thinner is dirty but, oh well thing is this paint is super thick so i have to try to get it as thin as possible well not as thin as possible but thin enough so that these cans don't like clog up or it's too thick for them to spray or anything like that so making sure it's i think that is pretty good though it's not i mean it's still thick but it's not too thick i think i'm just gonna roll with this hopefully hopefully i'm good so basically this you can one it says like it has directions in the back it says a third of the way up is as far up as you can fill it so the bad thing is you have to kind of calculate it because it doesn't have any see-through marks it doesn't have see-through marks it doesn't have marks inside it doesn't have anything so you kind of just have to wing it i'm nervous <laughs> yeah put that. keep this handy I don't know how much is a third though. Yeah, you can't see anything. Do you want to check? Let me see with the flashlight. You can't see I'm trying anything. to go slow. No, I don't think so. Uh, just picking it up, I think. You can Ooh. sort of feel. Yeah. Nah. That's a downside to this one. The other one, you can fill up that jar all you want. I'm going to say it's good there. You want to show them how far I went? I need a flashlight. Yeah. Can you see that? No. Well, all right, whatever. Just believe us. We got as close to a third as... It feels like it's right here. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, it, I feel like it should be good. This one we can go ahead and try to... I'm going to pour the whole thing in this one. We're going to see as far as we can go. Dude, I made like the perfect amount. Woo! I'm a pro. And I made no mess. So now, see this, the cool thing about this one is look, pour this in here and it's ready to go. This one, I have to throw this on and I have to screw this. Oh, I guess this goes over. Okay, so basically throw that on. I have to throw this on now, and then I have to pump it with air, so I'm going to go pump it with air, and then once I have air in it, then I can take this off, throw this on, and then I can start spraying this one. This one's ready to go, though, so let's go outside, I guess. All right, so in the back, it says, do not overfill pressure not to ex... What? Do not overfill pressure not to exceed 100 PSI, so... We got our digital gauge, so we should be good. If it says don't exceed 100, I'm gonna, well, I don't know, let me see. Let me see how it feels, but, see, can you see that? Yeah. Oh, so, you hear that? Yeah. Oh my God, that better not explode. I think it is, what the heck? Crap, hold on, let me unhook this. Yeah. Okay. 
We didn't even... Well, this is not good. So I got this off. Some of it started leaking from this thing. How does this work, man? Unless it doesn't like using this thing, which could could be possible. I don't get it. Wait, I can't undo that. Never mind, because it has pressure in it already. I, I think. I'm not even sure. I'm not sure how this works. I'm gonna try again. I gotta see what's up. <laughs> I don't know, this thing's not reading it right is the problem. But it has some pressure in there, so if I take this off. What a mess, dude. So far, not liking this. That sounds like when you're in the bathroom. <laughs> After some Taco Bell. <laughs> Ugh. All right, well, <laughs> it should have enough. Where's the cap? Oh, it's right here, right? Let's see. I don't know, dude. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's see if it sprays. Oh, gosh. So, check this out. Let's see. No. Uh, it's blotchy. Really blotchy. Did we even feel it? What the much? heck? Exactly, and you're not supposed to shake it either. What the heck? I don't like that. Horrible. Horrible. Let's go ahead and try this one out. Hopefully I have better luck here. Oh my god, look at this one. It's not spraying that much, but it's spraying, you know? Yeah. That looks nice. This one does look nice. I think the problem with this setup is the paint I'm using. But other than that, it looks good. Yeah. You know? Let me paint this side, watch out. See? It's actually painting. Not like the other one, just throwing blobs everywhere. All right, well, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna try to spray, finish spraying both of them. Oh, I'm getting all sticky. I'm, oh man, I got paint on me. Crap. <laughs> all right, well, I'm gonna finish spraying these, let it dry overnight, and then we'll be back tomorrow and see how they turned out. So I'm gonna be spraying this one on this one. So I guess the one away from the door and the one closer to the front of the door will be with the UCAN. All right guys, quick little update for you guys. The UCAN system, don't buy it. This thing is a piece of junk. I've been messing with it. I've been trying different methods of putting air in it. I tried to thin out the paint more. Nothing worked. Like, I don't know how to hold pressure in it or how to put pressure in it and keep it in there because once I start taking the thing off, it goes everywhere. It even got my pants really good right there. So I'm, pretty mad at the fact that it did that this however this prevail one i thinned out the paint just a little more just to see what would happen and it started shooting this paint almost perfectly like i am 100 satisfied with this one and i'm not being biased i actually wanted the you can one to be better because i spent 20 dollars on that one and i bought that one like almost two months ago and i've been waiting to try it out i literally just found this prevail one but you have to get a new spray can every time, which is like $4 or like $6 if you get the whole kit, which I think is worth it because you get a whole new jar, but it's not reusable like the U can is, but I just can't get that thing to work properly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna end up spraying the rest of what's left of this bar with the Prevail one. This one came out so blotchy that it started dripping on the floor, so I have something there to catch it. So I'm gonna spray this one, let it dry overnight. Like I said, the UCAN one, just 
isn't cutting it. So I'm gonna spray it with the Prevail one and then we'll see how they turn out in the morning. All right, so I let it dry overnight. This one that I sprayed with the Prevail one is pretty much dry and it came out super nice. I don't know if the camera will catch it, but it came out really nice. And then this one right here that I sprayed with the Yukon, it is literally like super blotchy and I didn't want to continue with that. So what I did was I just ended up spraying the rest of the Prevail system, but it's so thick that it's not 100% dry. Like my fingers, if I keep them there for over a second, like they'll get stuck on there. So it's not completely dry. I went to bed pretty bummed yesterday that it didn't work and it ruined a nice pair of jeans of mine. So I started thinking like, what can I do to make it work, you know? So I ended up cleaning this. I took the valve off of the rubber grommet. I took the valve inside of here off. I cleaned everything really nice. I went out this morning and I got myself another hand pump. So I'm gonna try this out and see if maybe I can make it work this way. I'm hoping I can. I know that on the can it says to use a hand pump and I was using a compressor so maybe I was feeding it too much air I'm hoping I was so I'm gonna go ahead and give it another chance because like I said I spent 20 bucks on it and it's supposed to be reusable for as long as I want it to be so let's go ahead and see if we can actually make it work and hopefully I will change my mind on it all right so I'm gonna put it on here first let's see what is locked and what isn't I think that's not locked. We'll do that and lock it in place, I think. There we go. Yeah, that's good right there. So now I'm going to stick it in here. The gauge on this reads about 25 PSI. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can pump it with some more. I got super hard. It's not trying to pump any. It went up to almost 40. I don't... See? It's, it's at like 35 PSI. It's not going up anymore. At all. Nope. I'm gonna go ahead and try to take this off. Uh, I hope I don't get dirty again, but only one way to find out. So let's go ahead and just pop this sucker out. All right, so not a whole lot of dirtiness. I should have been wearing gloves. I forgot to put some on, but this didn't get dirty. The valve didn't really get too dirty. So it has some pressure in it. Let's go ahead and see if it sprays any better. At this point, I don't know. I don't know. All right, here goes nothing. Yeah, it's still super blotchy. Not as bad as yesterday. I don't know if I have to just thin it out even more or what. It's. You know what, it's honestly not nearly as bad as yesterday actually. It is blotchy and it looks like crap right now, but it has to run a little bit and then it dries. And I think after that it should be good. It does however make a huge mess on the garage floor, which I don't like. Oh, I got it all over this too. Oh crap. All right, so that's as good as I can get it to spray. I don't know if I need to thin the paint out even more if I do, it's just not really worth it because I thinned it out a lot and it's the same thickness as the one in the Prevail system and that one sprayed really good. So I think the superior one would have to be the Prevail system because like I said, it's the same thickness, same paint. I don't have to pump it up. I literally just pour the paint in, screw the top on, start spraying and I'm good to go. So uh, I hate to say it, but the $5 system works a lot better than the $20 system. I'm hoping that with the you can I can spray other stuff and make it somewhat worth it of a purchase because 
Right now, I don't see myself happy with this purchase. So overall, my conclusion will be if you want to spray something, just buy the Prevail system. Don't waste your time with the You Can. You might get lucky with it. Up to you guys, whatever you guys wanna buy. I'll link both of them in the description, but I know I will be trying other liquids in it and hopefully I can make it worth it, like I said, but when it comes to paint, I'm just gonna keep using the Prevail system. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you liked it, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And while you're down there, hit the little bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. But that's gonna do it for this one. So as always, keep moving forward and stay on the gas.